Hey guys, so I'm back at CVS again. I have two different deals I want to do. Hopefully they both work out. If not, that would be a shame. So I'm going to go ahead and go inside and let us all hope for the best. Okay, so first I'm going to be picking up this Maybelline mascara at $6.99. This Maybelline Fit Me blush at six fifty nine. Now this CoverGirl mascara at nine forty nine. Makeup this CoverGirl uh, baby cream at nine seventy nine. And lastly, I'm gonna be picking up four of these crush. Pro House Advanced Toothpaste at $2.99 each. So right now I'm just carrying everything. I'm gonna go check out and hopefully it all works out. Okay, so here are all the things I got in my first transaction. A Maybelline mascara, Maybelline blush, CoverGirl mascara, and a CoverGirl foundation. And then here are my four toothpaste that I bought. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the receipt now. So the four on top are my toothpaste that I bought, my two Maybelline and my two CoverGirl products down here, and my employee discount since the makeup was um, not on sale. Here I have a $2 off manufacturing coupon for the Maybelline and another $2 off of the Maybelline. Um, my five off of three Crest, a three CoverGirl. A $1 crest and $3 off of 12 cosmetics. And I did use $15 in extra bucks. Uh, the two fives, a three, and a two. And only things that didn't go as planned or that didn't work out is um, I thought I still had my three off of teeth whitening coupon and another $3 off of CoverGirl. But um, the cover girl for some reason didn't apply. And I have no idea why because on the app it applied. But I mean, I don't know. <laughs> and then uh, my three off of teeth whitening. I guess it, ex well, not I guess, it expired yesterday. And I just didn't like keep track of it. So that one's my bad. So uh, my whole subtotal was 724 with taxes being $9.97. I had a total savings of 86% which and saved $43.18. And here on the bottom you can see I reached my limit for the crest so I got a $3 extra buck back. My 15 for seven on CoverGirl and five for two on Maybelline. So altogether, it came out to $18 in extra bucks. I also got my $3 um, extra bucks rewards for the for cosmetics, which brought me to a total of $21 in extra bucks. So altogether, with um, all the extra bucks I used and the seven that I spent, the uh, extra bucks I got back, I really only spent like $1.24. Which is uh, not too bad. I mean, I'm not super happy with this, but it's still a pretty good deal. On to transaction number two. I'm going to be picking up two of these uh, Skin to Mint razors at $9.29. And one of the blue ones at $9.29. So here are the three things I'm getting. I'm gonna go ahead and check out now. Um, all my coupons are sent to my card. So hopefully they all go off. I will see you guys after checkout. Okay guys, so here are my three razors that I bought. And I'm gonna show you guys the receipt now. So I did pick up some Easter candy cause this store had a lot of it and it was 75% off. So, I got a little bag of M&M's and then a hundred piece of chocolate. And those are my sales. 
And here are my three razors. They're originally $9.29. I got them for three and two and two. And then again, I do get employee discounts, so it took off $5.58 for me. All my coupons did go through. I had a five off of two disposable razors, three off of one, five off of 20 shave, and four off of two skin to mint razors. And then I used a $5 extra buck, and my subtotal was only $5.63. Was the total savings of 89% and $43.62. As you see, um, again, my coupons don't print on my receipt, but you can see that I did get that $10 extra buck on there for spending $25 on the chic. Altogether, I would say I pretty much made my money back. The only thing that kind of made me spend a little more was the chocolate because I didn't plan on getting them. But either way, not bad. I i am pleased with this deal overall i feel like it was a good deal um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time have a good day